He's here, Commodore. Mr. Tesla. You don't shake hands, they tell me. Why? For reasons of health, Commodore. Edison here tells me you're always washing your hands 20 times a day, and every time there's got to be a fresh towel. I don't have to ask if you two know each other. Oh, we know each other, all right. You also tell me you don't uh, take any coffee or tea. So what can I offer you? Some whiskey, perhaps. Oh. Makes you sound almost human. Tom, give your friend here some whiskey. You know... Some people are sure that you're crazy. Others think you're a faker. Now, both those things could be true, and you still could be some kind of a genius. Sit down, Mr. Tesla. I'd like to know what makes you tick. You know what Edison says about genius? Yes, one of his pet quotations. Genius is 1% um, inspiration and 99% uh, perspiration. He says you don't perspire enough. And for a scientific conclusion, he says uh, you don't use any brain work at all. Instead, uh, how did you put it, Tom? Well, ask Tesla. According to him, uh, he says he gets mental pictures. Mental pictures, that's the word with everything complete down to the smallest detail. Is that how it happened with that uh, uh, brushless, uh, commutatorless uh, motor of yours? Says here, Tom, that um, the whole thing just appeared to Mr. Tesla. Some kind of vision. It was really more uh, like a flash of light. And you got this vision, or flash, uh, suddenly, uh, in the middle of a poem uh, you have to be reciting out in the street somewhere in Hungary. Yes, it was Goethe. A what? He's a German author. I'll send you a translation, if you like. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Tesla. The motor was turning in a huge... Have your whiskey, Mr. Tesla. Oh, thank you very much. The motor spun in a huge whirlwind of electricity. A rotating magnetic field. Tremendous energy produced by a balance of alternating currents. Alternating current. Yeah, he got the patent six years later, and every detail was just the way it uh, appeared to him in that first mental picture. Adam's got the whole story for me. What is that thing you're reading there? Uh, it's the file we put together on Mr. Tesla. I never go into anything blind, Tom. You know me well enough to know that. But just here, when well, he's still working for you, you gave Mr. Tesla a problem to solve for you. Well, what of it? I give my people problems all the time. Well, this one must have been important. Maybe something you couldn't work out for yourself? Who says so? Where'd you get that story? We talked to people in your shop. Oh, I could have solved that thing easily, but as it so happens, I was uh, busy with a lot of other problems at the time, like I always am. The way we heard it, you told Mr. Tesla if he'd work it out for you, you'd give him $50,000. And then when he did, you said he didn't understand the American sense of humor. That is not the reason we quarreled. I am not interested in money. Aren't you? Well, I am. The point is that you quit working for Edison. Now it's been suggested that you start working for me. Sit down, Tom. I haven't quite finished yet. <clears throat> yes, Tom? Frankly, Commodore, I'm beginning to wonder what the hell I'm doing here. Well, I didn't think it would be fair to hold this meeting without you. Well, am I right? It's about the steelworks in Pittsburgh. Well, 
I'm still waiting for the electric power, Tom. They can't wait well, for it. Neither can I. It's been over five months now since I submitted my plans to the committee. Mr. Tesla has some different ideas. Different? Uh, well, I guess that's one word for it. You know what he did at the Chicago World's Fair? It's all in here. Yes. Up to that time, there were no large polyphase generators in existence. I'd rather hear it from Mr. Tesla. No, oh, sorry. Well, I took 24 500 horsepower generators. Single phase generators, that is. Couple them all in pairs and then hook them up so the circuits would be 90 degrees out of phase. Uh, translate that into English. It means I made the equivalent of 12 two phase generators, each with 1,000 horsepower. It was the first World Fair in history to be lit by electricity. <laughs> well, now, isn't that funny? Right up to this very minute, I was always under the impression that electric light was something that I invented. Of course. And now I find that Mr. Tesla here discovered it. Where the hell do you come off with a report like that on a subject that you couldn't even begin to comprehend? I just collected information, Mr. Edison. I certainly don't pretend to be an educated man of science. Educated? Like Tesla? You mean he is educated and I'm not? No, Tom, nobody said that. Well, you don't have to say it. Everybody knows it. Well, we know you're a self-made man, and so is Tesla. He came to this country with four cents and a book of poetry. Yeah. Well, I never got near a university. I had to teach myself as I went along. Yes. And the first thing I learned was respect for the scientific process. Reasoning based on provable assumptions, controlled experimentation, trial and error. But your educated man of science, he does everything by guesswork. He doesn't even have ideas. He has hunches. No wonder he's gone haywire over this AC business. AC, alternating current, right, Tom? There's nothing right about it at all. Mr. Edison's whole system has been based right from the beginning on direct current. Tesla? Despite all evidence, he is convinced the system of alternating current will never work. Oh, I see. A man of visions and lightning flashes feels that Thomas Edison is suffering from delusions. Simmer down, Tom. Tell us about Frankfurt. Frankfurt, Germany, Tom. Or don't you know what happened in Frankfurt? Adams, tell Mr. Edison what happened in Frankfurt, Germany. A man called Olivo and another man called... The hell with the names. Just tell them what they did. They have just managed to transmit electricity over a distance of 160 kilometers. And they were using Tesla's system. And that's over in Europe, for God's sake. We've got Tesla right here under our noses. You get together with General Electric. I'll take care of the financial side. We're going to build that power station in Niagara right away. And uh, what system are you going to use? Well, Tom, what's wrong with giving it a try? But it's a useless complication. That's what's wrong with it. And besides that, it's dangerous. If I had my way. I'd have the goddamn thing prohibited by law. Oh, I hope you, you aren't leaving. We haven't finished our card game. Just don't slam the door. He does it every time. My friend Edison's a stubborn man, Tesla. He's also the greatest inventor in the history of the world. And if you can prove him wrong, just once. I won't say I'll be happy. But I'll tell you this. You and I are in business. <laughs>